Hi guys, sorry for the pause there. Figure boy here, back with another video, and today I'm going to be doing a bit of a showcase or haul video, like um, because I don't think I'm going to get any more um pops this month unless they're last minute or something. There's not any um like new ones on my list or anything right now that are actually out. So uh, I thought rather than split it into different videos, I'll um. Just do it in one go, and if I do get something new, I might just do it as a short instead, I don't know. Um, but I do have another video planned, which is the uh, sitcom discussion video, if I uh, actually get around to it, because I know I've mentioned it before, like, probably multiple times, and I think I might as well just do it, maybe to uh, close the month off if I disappear for another fortnight. So uh, at least uh, for those of you that uh, actually tune into my channel, you've got a longer video to uh watch um but yeah i should hopefully be back um uh anyway so uh yeah let's let's start with the uh sodas first so um yeah i did get a chase but um i'm gonna pause for a second and i'm gonna give you a chance to uh guess which one which one of these cans do you think had the chase so we've got Wonder Whammon, Hatsune Miku, the Black Light Alice, and the Prince John from Robin Hood. So which one is it? Now, I've got their actual tokens up this way. But it might be more obvious as to which one is the uh, uh, chase. Now, if you know how the whole soda thing works oh if you already know what the chases are well we can already rule out that one because the uh, chase for that one is the uh, I think it's the new 52 but on the token it says uh, classic Wonder Woman or Wonder Woman so yeah I, I did end up backtracking uh, after getting the Captain America but uh, yeah this is one of the original sodas they did and this one doesn't seem to have an international um, thing on it. So I thought there were like two different versions of her. Like, and this was the like the US release. I thought, oh, I know I paid a bit extra, but at least it's the US one. And then it seems to me that there is no international release. It seems to have just been the one figure. And I thought that the this would be the uh, like the uh, color scheme for the. Um, you know, like the uh, chase, like usually, like because yeah, it had a white background, so I thought it might be well. Obviously, obviously isn't because they have different artwork for this figure. So uh, yeah, it's not. But yeah, at least uh, Captain America has a partner now to be displayed with. Now this, now this one, you're probably thinking, yeah, he's definitely got the chase for this one because it's uh, got a grey background, and is it the chase? No, I'm I'm guessing. So this is the international release. So I'm guessing the U U.S. release. The chase has the grey uh, background. So if I'd actually checked this the token first, it would have been misled. So yeah, it's not unfortunately. But actually, I would say it's fortunately in this case because I think um they overdid it with the glitter. But we'll get on to that when I actually show off the figures. So. And yeah, if you, this one is more obvious that it's not the chase because it's the same colour on here. Right, so uh, that's a pretty big giveaway, but I do like the artwork here. And I don't actually think the colours they chose for this specific black light Alice product are actually that bad. I mean, not as keen on the dress colours and the orange may be, be, a, bit, may be a bit too vibrant for my uh, liking. Because, I mean, I think Starfire can pull it off better. But still, I'm glad to get it. At least um, it balances it out. Because I I got this because I was disappointed that I failed to get the Chase Black Light um, Sally figure. And I thought, well, if I get another Black Light figure to um, to go with, or at least, you know, um, I won't feel as so bad about it. And, uh, yeah, it ended up being the common. So, because if it had been the Chase, I would have still been happy. But it's a lot, looks a lot like Smurfette. Because the whole keeping the blonde hair but having blue skin. Dress colours 
Also, I can't even remember what the dress colours are for the other one. I'll have a look later. But there you go. So that only leaves... Da, 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 da. Prince John. You found the chase. The hypnotised Prince John, which was almost like a last-minute purchase through Amazon, because this costs sixteen ninety nine. And if I just ordered this by itself and it turns out to be the common, I'd feel pretty kind of stupid. So, because um, there's a, there was a, like a common one on eBay for like, like a tenner or all that that had already been opened. But I wanted to put myself in the raffle for the Chase one. And at least this one's been out for a while. So it was actually quite surprising. It was, you know, pretty, well, I'd say sort of cheap because it's almost like I wanted, I, I kind of want, um, a Scarlet Witch soda, but that's been out for a year. Like, and I, there's no, obviously, sold out everywhere. And the only listing is on eBay for 35 quid, a sealed can. And, um, yeah, I don't want to pay that much, like, because the chase is glow in the dark. And even though I'd be happy with the car, I would rather only spend about 20 quid on it, not 35 quid. And this one's a lot more limited than that one. But I guess Scarlet Witch is a more sought out character, I guess. Understandably. Um, so. Yeah, unless they do, like, some more black light, you know, figures um, for Marvel that actually aren't just, like, chase pieces. Because they have done some black light Marvel sodas, but they're chases for, like, the standard figures. But, um, yeah, unless they do that, I don't think I have a black light. Um, uh, black light, well, just a Scarlet Witch soda in general. Mm -hmm. So, um, yeah. But I'm glad I bought this uh, alongside that one now, because at least in a while, at least that wasn't the chase, but at least this was. So, 30 quid well spent, I guess. So here's the normal one for comparison, and let's actually show off the, uh, the chase, let's show off the figures now. Well, so that's what the chase one looks like, so instead of the red cloak, it's blue, and he has a completely different head. And has the kind of hypnotised eyes that like you see in the jungle buff. And fun fact, I think they use the same kind of animation um oh yeah because oh, i know you've seen this video but um i think they actually like like the movements the animation like they they just kind of just recycled the animation if that makes sense but it's the same you could, if you look up some comparison video between robin hood and the jungle buck it might explain a lot with the snake and everything like the snake the hypnotized eyes so yeah so it links the two things together. But pretty nice, because this figure is only limited to like 5,000 pieces. And the chase worldwide is 800. But I imagine there might actually be 10,000 of this figure. And there's actually 16,000. But obviously the international makes that. There's only 800 of these. But that sounds pretty round to get this as a last minute order through Amazon, like I already mentioned. Yeah, at least it, it's almost like at least I didn't, didn't feel completely for the sake of it. So there you go. Probably appreciate Robin Hood a lot, appreciate the Robin Hood film a lot more now because it was one of my favourite childhood Disney films. But my original copy was scratched, like the cover was just like Robin Hood doing target practice. I think that's what the cover was. And then they came out with this new release, which I got from CX, which has a more kind of you it's more uh, I'd say better cover, like a seems like it has like a proper cover like with the other characters on it so i have to re-watch the film at some point let's just get the other thing. let's just get to the point now so here's the alice like without my glasses on it looks as though she has a uni brow when i take my glasses off it like it looks like the two blue lines kind of merge together but i don't have like a black light cabinet thing well i don't i don't know I haven't been able to do the, the trick, see it, see them glow in the dark scenes. It's under UV light, apparently. Hence why it wasn't working when I was putting them up to my lamp. But there, there you go. Pretty nice. It's just, it's, I think it's it's fine. I don't, I don't know if they're going to do a normal Alice figure, because they've done a normal Mad Hatter. I suppose I could get a normal Alice as well, but it depends on what the chase is. Because if the chase is, like, black and white, then I'll just have two versions of the same figure but one has you know colour and the other one doesn't so I think it'd be better if they did like a metallic or glitter version of her or something. But if they've already done a metallic mat out they might do something different for the Chase Alice though. Because if they do a Cheshire Cat I imagine the Cheshire Cat probably would be flocked wouldn't it? But yeah I hope they keep up um 
with these black light figures. Scarlet Witch, come on. So, Scar the Scarlet Witch black light figure actually has a pink face. So I suppose the whole, you know, the whole my joke, pink is my kink thing. With the, uh, well, the, the whole Sally being pink thing, I suppose. That would be great if they actually do it. So, uh, yes. So there's the rest. So let's make some final kind of comments. Let's keep it quick and straight to the point. So, you know, um, at least I didn't have to wait too long for this because they, they had like this other option where you could like pay an extra bit of money and get it faster. But I ended up getting it sooner without paying that. Hmm. But uh, yeah, whatever. I, I don't mind. I'm just happy I was, at least I got it when I did for me. They might have all sold out if I'd put it off any longer. It's still like, I saw I took, there's like no one in stock, but I imagine people might do lastminute.com like me. And whoever manages to bag the chase, well done to you. But uh, I still think this figure is pretty neat. I mean, the head, looking at the pictures, I thought, oh, it looks a bit off. But uh, the more I look at it, it's not terrible. I mean, a lot of these soda figures look a bit derpy. I mean, she kind of looks like a... Like, she does look like something out like the 1960s, like a poster girl or something. I don't know. Um, thinking, hmm. Thinking of the whole Captain America thing. America's ass. I don't think I'd get away with making the same joke. With Wonder Woman, to be honest. Um, going with the whole American flag stuff. I think that's what makes makes her good to display with the Captain America one. Because they're both kind of American icons, aren't they? If you think about it, with the whole Star Spangled Banners. So, yeah, and they pretty cool. Uh, so, this is the one that arrived today. Um, so, this is another Comic Con exclusive, you see, because this one has the same sticker that the uh, Frodo Baggins, not Frodo Baggins, Bilbo Baggins one, uh, one had, and this is Funko Shop. So, yeah, at least I got this reduced, uh, and we'll probably saw it before long, so at least. Better to get it sooner rather than later. Um, boom. So the chase is like glitter. But um, yeah, I wasn't, wasn't really sure on the glitter on the chase, to be honest. Like, I mean, it has a microphone as well. But um, yeah, I, I think I prefer the lighter blue. And she looks as though she's going to do some kind of caramel dancing kind of anime dance. I don't know. But um, yeah, I don't. I, I must confess, I don't listen to Hatsune Miku or anything like that. I know who the character is. Um, and I know there's that whole thing with the actually guys marrying holograms of her for some reason. Um, I will not be advocating to see if I can actually marry my pop vinyls or, or anything like that. But, um, yeah. Um, but still a great design. I love anime stuff. And she is a Japanese icon. So, um, who knows? Because I think there's still pops of her, but not as good as the original figure they did back in the day. But yeah, at least I've got it. Because I wanted to get a Patrick Bateman one. Oh, this is the funny part. I wanted to get a Patrick Bateman one, which is a another Funko Shop exclusive. But there, there was um, shipping restrictions, so it wouldn't let me order it. Why isn't it possible? Why not, you stupid bastard? Uh, yeah, as in, obviously... I'd be Patrick Bateman in that situation, and the other guy would be pop culture. It's just not. <laughs> no, I don't understand why they uh, put shipping <laughs> restrictions on it, but it's still in stock. So if you're Australian or live in a country which will let you actually, will actually let you ship to, then well done to you. Congratulations, and you can show off your soda figure figures and and all your chases. Nice. You know, I need to watch that film because it's supposed to look it's supposed to be scary, but from all the clips I've seen it seems more funny. <laughs> For some reason it shows my twisted sense of humour, doesn't it? Um Yeah. There you go. Not much else to say about this, but I think she'll look good. It's to my cowboy bebop one. I shall be getting it. Hopefully they'll do more anime sodas. Specifically for Death Note or Bleach, because I don't have any pops from that series. But now that we show show showcase the yeah, let's see the other side. So let's just for the safe side. So yeah, here we go. Boom. 
Moving on to the uh, actual um, pops. Let's just save the Comic Con ones for last. So this is another one that came from Pop Culture. For some reason, it's not registered on the app. Like the Funko app, for some reason. Like the common one is, but this one isn't. No idea why, because there was a similar problem with the Marvel J. J. Jonah Jameson, Jameson one. But that um, has uh, finally been listed. So I don't know what number one is in the line is. But I know some people like, oh, I don't care about House of the Dragon. You know how Game of Friends and did not like. I'm not. I don't care about Game of Thrones. Just the way I see it, so this is set before Game of Friends series eight. Because the whole problem really is Game of Friends series eight. There was already a decline in some places, but um, you know, what can you do? Uh, a decline in obviously in quality, like in series five through seven, anyway. So, but if you kind of, some in some ways, I say almost you could put a line at game between Game of Thrones at at the end of Game of Thrones season seven, or if you really want, put it at the end of season four. You know, um, but so far it's been very good, and Millie Alcock was a Millie Alcock was a highlight. I like this. Um, New actor as well. She isn't too bad. Uh, I don't know how to pronounce her name. I think it's Emma Diarcy or something. Or uh, I'm not sure. But um, yeah, she's actually also sort of impressed me. But it, I mean, but I'd part of me thinks that they because they should have just kept the same actress and just put a ton of makeup on her just to make her look older. But not that. Uh, but I still like this new actress anyway because like, some of the characters like they completely just recast and. One that still looks as young as he was as when he was first introduced. It's almost like <laughs> it's like we we kind of just forgot to recast him, you know. <laughs> whatever, it doesn't matter. You know what you got to do. The, but um, hopefully the younger actress Millie Alcock will still make appearances. But I had to. This is the only uh, character I was really interested in getting. And I thought it was best, you know, if it's an exclusive. It's the diamond version of the standard part. He said, I won't feel so inclined to get any more. Because, I mean, Damon, there's a Damon exclusive as well. But you know what? I think I only really care about this one. She looks magnificent. So at least I have a diamond um, figure in, um, to, show, to show off today. But the glare like, flakes off. But yeah, it looks pretty phenomenal. So, um, look at the hair at the back. There's some scruffs of paint, but I can't complain too much because I don't even know if you can even get this in the UK. Um, but if you could get it, I imagine it'd go on Funko Shop or something. But if it did, it'd sell out pretty fast. But uh, yeah, worthy purchase. And she'll look. I, don't, I think I might put her in the cupboard for now. I was thinking of put her on the end of my Game of Thrones row, but I don't actually think I have a lot of space left. So uh, yes. And uh, most recently, uh, the Black Adam is coming out, the film starring The uh, Rock. Um, but I'm not really interested in getting any pops from the movie. And they announced they're doing a comic book version of him. I'd already got my comic Doctor Fate, so it seemed almost perfect. But uh, yeah, I've got nothing against The Rock, but I think... The film's getting like mid reviews and all that. Does that, make, does that make sense? Mixed reviews where it's I'm guessing it's going to be classified as mid or whatever. But I'm, I still want to go see it. And uh, there's going to be a big surprise at the end. But I think most people already know what that big surprise is going to be. Now, because even Cam, being, The Rock has been going on and on about it. And there's been leaks everywhere. But uh, there you go. If you know what the surprise is. Oh, you could just... Um, rather than sit through the whole film, you could... Just look for the surprise on YouTube and just watch the scene and spare a couple hours of your life. But uh, I think I'm, I, I'm still interested. I need to get out. It's almost like, uh, I do, I'm either going to watch this film or sit around for two hours doing nothing. So I might as well go and watch the film. So pretty, I really like this figure. The whole electricity coming off him. And I look forward to when... Um, the Shazam stuff kind of crosses over. Because um, I think I'd rather see a film where Shazam is fighting Black Adam than have a film just dedicated to Black Adam. But 
at least people might end up caring more or less for the character when he finally does uh, cross over. So here's the actual, so it's a Funko shop exclusive there. So, uh, yes, there you go. To close it off, it's just, I say, a common pop. Well, technically, it is a standard release, but I don't know how rare this figure is. I got it from the Smith's website. But I was under the impression that it might already be discontinued. So, uh, but maybe it's not. Maybe, maybe it's just been out for a while. And even with new figures these days, they might already be charging 20 quid on Amazon. It got worse when COVID happened, didn't it? In terms of pricing. But, um, yeah. Admittedly, I've still got to watch this film. But I, the reason why I bought it is because I saw a soda figure of it. And I was, wasn't sure whether or not to backtrack for the soda. But then it's like, it'd just be easier. Just, you know, because you could order the soda figure. It might just be the common, like, instead of the glow-in-the-dark one. So, you might as well just get the standard figure for, like, 10 9 on or whatever. Who's Smith. They still have a ton in stock. And um, I didn't really want to go in. Because I still feel pretty bad. I, I, some of the chase figures that I missed out on for the sodas might still be there. But um, uh, let's see one you can get. Um, I think there's exclusive versions, and that's why I was confused as to why they were like fifty quid or whatever together. Because there's a diamond version. But, uh, I don't like the fact that a worm comes out of her eye. That's just that's just rank. I'm sorry, you know. But um, yeah, it's a bit of plastic. I don't know. It seems kind of brittle to me. I I understand it's supposed to almost be like I understand it's supposed to be translucent and all that, but it just looks off. And there's a figure stand that comes with this. But I don't think I'll need it. It'll just take up space. She said she can stand up anyway with her dress. Yeah. Uh. Still a cute design though, but oh. I, I, I'm I'm not gonna make any comment. I, I'm I'm not gonna say nothing. But um, at least uh, got some. What was it? Yeah, your typical Tim Burton. Yeah, because I know like when I ended up watching the film, I wanted to backtrack for the pops. So I knew it's now or never. So I do that with a lot of stuff I watch. Um, but anyway. Regardless if I've seen the film, they're still like kind of pop culture icons because that's what put in the, hence the pop's uh, name. So, um, yeah, I just so yeah, I'm gonna have to watch the film. Is it on Amazon Prime? I hope it is. I need to log into my Amazon Prime. Um, it's not on Netflix, otherwise, I'll have to drop into. But, fun fact, um, well, not really a fun fact, I should say fun theory. Someone uh, says that um, this guy is actually uh, in like Tim Burton's films, like Frank and Weenie, Nightmare Before Christmas, and The Corpse Bride. He's they're all the same characters, so he he's like Jack Skellington. I'm gonna choose to believe that because um, it actually kind of sounds cool. Sounds kind of cool if that is if that is the case, because they all look very similar. Well, obviously, like, well, you don't know, because Jack Skeleton is, you know, it's a skeleton, but like, it could be. Maybe it's, like, alternate universe versions of the same guy. Like, he's, he's like, variants, like, in Marvel now. Yeah, let's... Sh <sighs> Slowing down a bit. I need to speed myself up. Come on. The need, the need for speed. And, uh, and yeah, talk... Um, there's no accelerate pop yet. But we do have... Uh... Swamp Fire from Benton Alien Force. Why are they starting with um, Alien Force? That's what I don't quite understand. Because they've got Ben 10 Soda coming out, and I'll probably look out for that because it's a heat blast uh, chase. And I've already said that I think the heavier can will contain the chase. So hopefully, I shouldn't have said that, to quote Hagrid, RIP, uh, Robbie Coltrane. Um, um, I shouldn't have told you that. Because um, now people are going to know how to hunt the chase. Right. Why couldn't I just keep my gob shut? I will. I guess. First come, first. Was it first come, first served, or something? Whatever the phrase is. 
So uh, best of luck. At least I've given you a bit of a hint if you are into Ben 10. Um, so uh, Swamp Fire. It has all the uh, four convention exclusive um, stickers at the back because I didn't know what the back looked like. It doesn't advertise any other figures in the line. But um, yeah. Um, yeah, I wasn't as like a big fan of Ben 10 Alien Force as the original series, but this Alien looks pretty sick. Um, so that's a good start. At least I have a Ben 10 figure in the collection. If it's not actually Ben himself. Good. I imagine they end up coming out with another version that's actually glow in the dark, and then it just makes you wonder if they were going to do like a Ben 10 Alien Force line, why didn't they do this as a standard pop? And then have it be like glow in the dark, like for the con exclusive. Oh, oh well, I mean, because I mean, he is holding a flame, so whatever. Um, like I said, I'm, I'm Ben 10 lore is really complicated. Like, the most I, I, someone did a Ben 10 lore video, and my brain just melted. I can't be asked to say, really. <laughs> I don't care. Um, to me, it's just boy finds watch, turns into alien, uh, cousin who can be really irritating and calling dweeb all the time. Well, at least used to. I don't know what she's like in Ben 10 Alien Force. I haven't watched it in a long time. But, um, yeah, just make more Ben 10 pops, please. I uh, can't wait to see what a Heat Blast pop will look like. If I don't finally chase Soda first. But, yeah, there's tons of Ben 10 Aliens that will make awesome pops. So, and that, as for Roger Rabbit talking about Soda's, because he seems to be obsessed with Soda's at the minute. The Chase Soda is actually him in this pose, but they did a pop vinyl of him in this exact pose for comic con obviously because these are the comic con pops so at least yeah i finally have a roger rabbit because i saw the standard one in world apart years ago and i didn't get it um and probably um didn't get a jessica rabbit either but a jessica rabbit soda is coming out so hopefully i'll get the chase one for her but um yeah pretty neat looks better in person because i thought the 3d art looked a bit strange I really want to watch Roger, Roger Rabbit again and get a second opinion on it. Um, Borat. Ba -ba -da -ba -da. So, yeah, I didn't think they'd make this one because um, I thought the character would be deemed too offensive or triggering. Um, but no, they went and did it. But obviously they had to do it as a con exclusive because they were pretty worried that not many people would buy it. Um, but, you know, I really liked the character when I first saw the original film. I, I was actually convinced he was, like, a real person. But then I realised he can't possibly be because of Ali G and the Dictator film. But he was that convincing. Like, he, even young me was... Obviously, because I hadn't seen a mockumentary before. He was, it felt like a proper documentary. And I saw Bo Rat 2 recently. Quite recently, a couple of years back. can't believe it came out. Oh my God, it was still about ages ago. Well, not ages ago, re very recent, but... Um, yeah, do check out Barrett too. It's not like the original, but it's, it is still funny. I like it when he pranks people as the character. And actually, he dresses up in all these different other suits as well. Um, there you go. It's very much like the um, original poster, movie poster, where he's holding the US flag. And it makes you think of the Terrence and Philip uh, South Park chases that have them holding... What was it? They have... No, it's Canadian flags, isn't it? Not US flags. But similar kind of thing. Um, and I forgot that he also has the bag as well. Didn't notice that. I was busy looking at the flag. But there you go. Mr. Mustachio. So, yeah. I guess that's it for Comic-Con, because I didn't want to buy any more stuff for the sake of it. They've done some other cool sodas as well. Soda, soda, soda at it. But, um, uh, yeah, um... What was I going to say? Oh yeah, because they did Dark Phoenix Soda. But I already have both versions of Phoenix up on the shelf up there, if you look. And I've got my uh, soda display up there. Well, temporary display. I need to find a proper place to put them. Because like I said, I keep the chases downstairs. So, uh, yeah. I need to get the swamp fire back up. So I hope you enjoyed this video. Probably went on a bit too long, but I thought I might as well do it as a huge video and if, I, if there's anything i uh forget to say or have forgotten to say i'll just leave some um, stuff in the description if you if anyone actually reads the descriptions of my videos because usually i either leave a sarcastic remark or go great in detail so yeah 
Cheers for those who tune in. If you like this video, please uh, leave it a like. If you can comment on this video, feel free to comment. If the comments aren't disabled, then yeah. I guess this is where I say peace out.